guys and welcome back to another candle review. This one I have been looking so forward to trying out. It mostly was bought as an impulse purchase when I bought it um, because it just seems so unique. I can safely say I have never seen another candle that is scented like this. For all I know I will never see one again. It is very unique. I was super intrigued. I had to get the root beer float one, float one uh, from Bath and Body Works. I was just like, I really hope it's good and not gross. But is there such a thing as gross root beer or anything? I don't think so. So it would have been interesting if they had tried their hand at a cola one because they did this one. They did an orange soda one. They did a pina colada, but I skipped it just because it would tease me because I have an allergy or sensitivity to coconut. And they did a banana split one or banana sundae or something along those lines. It was banana something. But holy balls, this is the best one, even smelling it on cold. I'm not sure how I'm going to feel about it when my entire room is scented like it and it smells hot. But I mean, I suppose that remains to be seen. Smelling it cold, it smells amazing. So it is a three wick candle. Slightly off-centered. They're very much closer to this side than this side, but that's okay. It's Bath and Body Works. They usually pull out. However, however, I am noticing braided wicks in there, so I may have to help it a little if that is indeed an issue. Because sometimes with their braided wicks, for some reason, they just get these tiny little flames, and they burn hella slow, and they don't get that hot, and they don't pull out correctly, so... I, I have mixed feelings about the braided wicks, because they look gorgeous, and they do prolong the length or the lifetime of your candle because it doesn't burn as fast, but it also doesn't pull out correctly. So, I mean, there's that. But yeah, so there is the motif on it, little life preservers. I love the lid they did with the wave of your waves. Ooh. Okay, I'll stop. But um, yeah, on the bottom, let's see here, burns approximately 25 to 45 hours. Its fragrance notes are root beer, vanilla ice cream, and dollop of whipped cream. Hmm. I don't know if I smell all that. I definitely smell the root beer, front and center, as it should be. I also weirdly almost get, like, the tiniest hint of bubblegum. And almost, like, a really, really, really faint hint of cinnamon, and I don't know why. I don't know that I'm getting whipped cream, but I think I am getting a little tiny bit of vanilla. Maybe as it burns, the other comes out, I don't know, but mostly it's root beer, it smells freaking good, and if this ends up being a bummer, I may cry, because this smells so good right now, I don't want to ruin it, you know? So, um... Anyway, size, let's see here. Do we have a number of ounces? Anywhere at all. 14 and a half ounces. I should know that by this point, but I still don't. But, um, anyways, um, I'm gonna go ahead and light this baby up. I will see how it does. I will keep you posted. My fingers are crossed that it's gonna do well. But again, remains to be seen. I have not yet burnt it. I have intentionally not watched any reviews on this because I'd rather not have my opinion spoiled by other people's. I'll watch them after I do mine, but yeah, I learned the hard way. Stop doing that, but um, at least for me, since I also want to review them. If you're just a consumer who wants to buy them and not review them, you know, reviews are a good thing so you can make an informed purchase, but you should watch as many as you can on one that you're interested in to hear a whole range of different opinions on them because everybody has different noses, everybody has different tastes. It's just good to know. Like, basically every review I saw in the Paris Cafe Bouquet or whatever it was, one from this summer's Destinations collection, they all freaking loved it. I got it. I kind of hated it initially, went through a brief period of, I guess it's okay, I guess I can tolerate it, back to, oh my god, I hate it, kill it with fire, I can't wait till this thing is gone, and just hate burned it. So, I mean, I I'm kind of just going on my own gut instincts at this point and watching reviews after the fact, <laughs> or watching ones that I probably won't buy, but I'm curious about just to hear, you know, that sort of thing. But if you're only in it to buy them, do your homework. Make it to a store if you can to smell them before you buy them. Don't be like me and just blindly buy online. But anyway, I'm babbling. I'm going to go light this baby up, so I'll be back. 
Okay, so first update is that I definitely forgot to look at the time when I lit these to see um, how long it's been going, but it is largely pulled out. It's still working on it. I haven't given up on it doing the thing yet. Um, I'm noticing it's particularly bubbly. I've noticed a lot of them, which is funny given that it's a soda flavor or scent and there's a lot of bubbles. Could be coincidental. Probably coincidental, but I was correct in that the braided wicks do, um, yeah, these are very short flames, so that may or may not prove problematic for this site over here. I'm not sure. Gonna keep an eye on it. I will keep you guys posted. But yeah, um, the room does smell absolutely lovely though, but it's an interesting kind of smell because while it is definitely root beer scented, it's like a, a smoky root beer because of it being a candle, so it's a little bit weird, but it's largely pretty good. Okay, so post-burn thoughts on this guy. Um, same shirt, but th this is the next day now, like full disclosure. But anyway, um, so I mostly waited so I could see how long the linger was on this, and I probably could have filmed this last night given it didn't last that long, but I got lazy. So anyway, um... The linger after blowing it out on this one, honestly, like within a couple hours, totally gone, like 100% gone. I was very disappointed with that, but um, the actual scent while burning stayed pretty much identically true to the scent on cold. Um, unfortunately, I still don't smell all three scents in there, but I get the root beer, which is the important thing here, therefore I'm not complaining. Just the longer it burnt, it starts to smell like a slightly smoky root beer, but I mean, it's a candle, so it's gonna do that. Um, so I, I really can't bitch about that. But, um, the throw on it was good. Um, even outside of my bedroom, I was able to smell it with the door shut. So it had a good throw. I would say the throw strength, probably seven, seven and a half out of ten. Um... It did have some issues pooling out. I did have to tin foil it. It made it most of the way out. Uh, there was like one side where just part of it would not do the thing on its own and a little bit on the opposite side, but for the most part, it did do it. But there was just some edges that didn't want to go, so I'll be interested to see in subsequent burns, since it's been melted out once, if it'll be more willing to do it or if it just doesn't throw enough heat because it's such a low flame when it's the braided wicks like this. And as you can see, they did mushroom top really freaking quickly. Um, initially, I thought the flames were going to be better on it because initially they were high. Within 30 seconds, right down. I was like, oh, damn. <laughs> so I was a little disappointed there, but not the end of the world. I don't care that much. But uh, it did smell really, really good lit. It smells really, really good cold, even since burning it. I cannot complain too much. It is super unique for a candle scent. I, I maintain that I have never found another one that smells like root beer and may never find one again. So, I mean, part of me wants to conserve it, but part of me is like, oh, burn it again, burn it again, it smells so good. So, uh, you know, there's that. But, um, I would say probably my rating on this one is a 4 out of 5. The only reason I don't give it that last point is just... The linger was so crappy and it didn't pull out, but other than that, I loved everything about it. So, anyways, that is all I have to say for this one. So, as usual, if you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be click subscribe, hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. Do any of you guys have this one? If you do, what are your thoughts? Are you as slow as me in understanding why there's life preservers on here? It dawned on me while it was burning. Oh, root beer, float! And life preservers help you float! Oh my god, I get it! And then I felt like, oh, I should have been a blonde! <laughs> uh, or anything else, you know, you feel like leaving me. You know, just tell me, hey, Jen, you're an idiot. <laughs> Go ahead, I don't care. I'll leave them all down below. Make sure you're following my social media accounts. They're all listed down below in the description box. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link is also in the description. So anyway, guys, until next time, bye-bye.